AJ, most kids like card tricks. You like card tricks? Yep. Well, here's a simple one that needs no sleight of hand. It's all based on a scientific principle. So watch closely what I do so that you can do it later. Okay. First of all, you have to pick a card. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, take a look at it. Okay, you got it, it memorized now? Yeah. So put it back any old place. Okay. I have 27 cards here, and I'm going to put them down into three piles. Okay. And I want you to note when your card comes up if it's... But don't let me know. Don't give me any indication whatsoever until I'm all through. Okay, now I want you to tell me which pile is it in? This one. It's in that one. Okay. I do that once more. Think you can handle this? Okay. Pretty simple? Yeah. Again, watch for your card, but don't tell me until the very end. Okay, now you can tell me which pile is it in? This one. It's in that one, okay. One more time. Which pile is it in? This one. Okay. Now you set the cards down elaborately in front of the person that you're playing the trick on, and you say, tell me, what's your card? It's the Queen of Clubs. See that top card? Turn it over. That's Queen neat. Now, I said this was based on a scientific principle, and you fooled around with computers, haven't you? Yeah. Have you ever noticed where we have a big data bank, an awful lot of miscellaneous yeah. numbers, and you've asked mm -hmm. the computer to say, find something? Well, very often when programmers do it, they say one of the ways of doing it is to divide the entire database in half. Then they examine only the one half. If they find it there, they don't have to bother with the other half. Yeah. This is the same idea, but this, this is based on dividing it into threes. I had three piles. Oh. So let's do the trick again. This time, up where we can see it, and you'll watch what happens, that that principle is involved. First of all, I have 27 cards, and you deal them out into three piles like this. So have you spotted a card that you'd like to choose? Yeah. Which one? Two of spades. The two of spades. Okay, now the minute you tell me that it's in that pile, mm -hmm. I can in effect discard all these, can I? Oh. Now, it's not because in you there. know it's not in there, you told me that. Now we do the same thing again. We put them into three piles. So it's in this one. So that immediately discards all those. Well, then this. Okay, now when I put these three, <laughs> you tell me which pile is it in, and, and it's obviously one. that card. The point is, if every time you do it, these cards are just sort of to, to sort of confuse the issue, to make it look complicated. <laughs> all you have to do is put the pile that the person chooses on top, and it'll come up after you do it three times, be the card on top. Now, who are you going to try this on? My dad. Okay, good luck. Okay, thanks.